Take a moment to learn how to set up Alexa on your new LG AI TV. Press and hold the Prime Video button on your LG Magic Remote for two seconds. This will take you to the LG Content Store, where you can download and register the Alexa app. That's all it takes. It's not a game, it's a red skin. This 55-inch Smart QLED TV from OnePlus comes with 4K Ultra HD resolution. The 4K UHD resolution offers clarity and details in pictures and lets you see rich colors even in dark scenes. The Gamma Color Magic, Dolby Atmos and HDR10 Plus technology provide richer picture, better contrast and accurate color reproduction with sharp and crisp images even in dark scenes. The recommended viewing distance for this TV is 8 to 15 feet. Enjoy smart and latest features with the Oxygen OS with Android Pie. This TV is equipped with Mali G51 processor along with 3GB RAM for fast and smooth performance. It also has an internal memory of 16GB. Download apps from the official Google Play Store to watch movies, TV shows and play games. With the built-in Chromecast feature, you can cast your phone screen onto your TV easily. The TV has 4 HDMI and 3 USB ports allowing you to connect multiple devices like a set-top box, DVD player, gaming consoles, etc. Experience Dolby surround sound with the 50-watt Dolby Atmos speakers and subwoofers. This TV comes with one wall mounting bracket, user manual, warranty card, remote control, one AV in adapter, one AC cord and one USB Type-C cable. The OnePlus QLED TV comes with standard brand warranty. It comes with free installation and demo. You can avail EMI and exchange options. You can also pay online using your debit or credit card, net banking or other methods. For further information on the product, warranty, payment and delivery options and other offers, visit the product detail page. Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and this is the moment you've all been waiting for, the review of the OnePlus TV. The one we have with us is the Q1 Pro, which has this really cool sliding soundbar at the bottom. So kicking things off with the build and design, OnePlus has probably by far the most unique stand we have seen on a television. You don't have two feet. What you have is a single spine held together with center of gravity at one point on an oval stand that sits on the table. It's a really flush looking thing. It's really clean. It is gonna give a TV in your house a different aesthetic appeal. But here is the bummer. It has very weak center of gravity. And if you have a maid at home who's actually gonna rub the TV to dust it, you may find it ending up falling off. But if you are gonna wall mount the TV, then you are sorted. The ports are all neatly laid out behind this magnetic flap at the back left of the TV. You have four HDMI ports, two USB port, antenna in, optical out, a LAN port and an AV in. But what you are missing is a 3.5 mm connectivity option, which in some cases can be a bummer. However, the TV also supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and it's two-way Bluetooth. So you could use the TV as a spare of speakers if you like, uh, if you just want to use uh, the soundbar that comes with the TV or the speakers of the TV to listen to audio. So that is essentially the build design and connectivity. Moving over to the performance. Now this has a QLED backlighting and the panel up front is a VA panel. We don't know the maximum brightness of the panel, but it is definitely higher than 500 nits as to what we can tell, but we don't know and we didn't get the info from OnePlus in time to add it out here, but it does get pretty bright. Now the standard preset on the OnePlus TV actually gets you really vivid images. The colors are actually popping out and this isn't necessarily a bad thing if you're someone that likes rich colors that look like that. 
However, if you want more true to source natural colors, you will have to change the preset or control the settings manually. You get good options. A lot of TVs don't give you the difference between backlight and brightness. This TV does. So that's great if you are someone that knows how to control the different settings to get that absolute picture quality that you want. Or there are a large number of presets from film to game to standard to vivid, cinema home and many more. The TV also supports Dolby Vision. But moving on to the sound, this is where the TV actually performs really well. It has this really nice slide out soundbar. The durability of the soundbar is something that will come to question because how many times can it go up and down without actually creating a problem. If the lights go off, you do get a message which says that the TV didn't uh, pull the soundbar back in properly. So that's something to remember. But it does slide out. It has good punchy sound. The dialogues are well audible at 75. It filled our studio with a lot of sound. Dialogues were clear. Background music was engaging. Even the gunshots had the right thumb to it. That is because it has two full range drivers as well amongst the eight speaker layout that is a part of this TV. Coming to the UI, the TV is running on Android out of the box. This is Android TV and not AOSP, which is really, really good. You get access to a host of apps from the Play Store. You also get access to things like built-in Chromecast. However, know this that when you connect an external source like an Xbox One X and if you manage to get it to work on enhanced HDMI output, which is the full bandwidth to get everything from 4K HDR settings running great. And if you plan to watch any SDR content or play any SDR games, you will have to reverse the entire process because it isn't a simple uh, click and change setting. So on games like Gears 5 or even in Forza Horizon, which are built for 4K HDR displays, it is something to behold. I mean, the, it's just vibrant and looks good. But then again, a game like Doom, which is an SDR, you really have to backtrack and change settings to actually enjoy it because you get this oversaturated orange color if you play it in its HDR native settings. OnePlus also has its own UI overlaid on top of Android. You also have an app which you can control the TV with, and that's actually a boon because you can not only control regular functionalities, but you can also take screenshots and switch between apps from the comfort of the phone, which is actually really good because you have this little slider that comes up all your TV compatible apps are there you just click on the app the app fires up on the TV it also has nifty features like in case you get a call the volume of the TV goes down on its own so you can actually receive the call on your phone because coming to the next topic which is a remote control it lacks a mute button and also going down from 70 80 on the volume all the way to zero does take a couple of seconds so it isn't the most intuitive remote if let's say your parents are going to use the TV you are going to have to give them a crash course to begin with some people in office actually did ask us where is the volume rocker which is on the side. So there you have it guys, that was our review of the OnePlus TV.